Yo, what's up guys, it's your boy Drills, back with another tutorial. Now, people keep asking me, how do I make my stuff 5M ready? Like, I've made my chain, I've put it into OpenIV, what do I do next? Now, I have shown you before how to create a WAN T folder system and put that into game and stuff, but that is quite complicated and it does require a little bit of coding and stuff. And the EUP folder system, some people it works fine for, but other people get a lot of issues, myself included, things not showing up, etc. So I'm going to show you about this tool here, it's called the Dirty Cloth Tool, and this is going to do all the hard work for you. So. Yeah, we're going to get into this now. If you haven't got this, which you probably haven't, then the link's in the description below. So just go ahead and download that, install that, and then come back to the video once you've done that. Now, obviously, we're going to need a test subject. So I've, I've created a folder. There's nothing in the folder at the moment. And in OpenIV, I've got various items. So in OpenIV specifically, I have got the chain, what we made in the last video. Um, and I've got the drawable dictionary and the texture dictionary for it. So you should be up to this point where you've exported and you've created these two, right? So this is where people are having an issue. They're like, how do I name it? How do I put in the file folders and stuff like this? So obviously we're going to be using dirty cloth. Now I've purposely only named this test just to show you that the program is going to do the work for you. You don't need to worry about what this is called. You could call this whatever you wanted to call it. You could call it eggs. You could call it fish. And it doesn't matter. It's going to be renamed by the system. So we're going to drag those into our folder and we're going to minimalize open IV and that, and then we're going to open up dirty cloth. Right now, just before I get into this part, can I just ask you for one second of your time? Can you please just hit the subscribe button below? There is so many people to watch my videos and these videos are made to help you. And literally you could spend one second of your time. It's totally free. All you got to do is hit that button real quick and it will help me because only a small portion of my viewers actually subscribe to my channel. So please, if you could just do me that favor, I appreciate it very much. Now back to the video. This is the dirty cloth tool. Now you can see down here we've got male and we've got female so obviously we need to define what we want. The chain that we have is a male chain so obviously I'm going to click on add male for you it might be female if you're trying to add female stuff okay. You're always going to need to keep these two separate because they're named differently. Um, and we're going to do add from files. Now we're going to have this pop up it's going to say you don't have an output folder and some other stuff but we're basically just going to click on open project settings. Now we're going to want to give this project a name and this is going to be inclusive in the file name. So for the sake of this one, I'm going to call it Dirty Chain. Let's just call it Dirty Chain, right? Now author is totally up to you. You don't need to put your name in there, but you can do, especially if you're giving it to someone else and you just want it in there somewhere. Um, it's not going to make much difference either way. Version, description, don't bother with them. The DLC name will always be the same as the name. So that should automatically copy over. If it doesn't, then just copy and paste that in. Now we need to select an output folder. So I'm going to select the folder what I originally put the chains in on the desktop. It's just this one here. And I'm going to save that there. Just so that basically once we build our project, it's got somewhere to save to. You don't need to worry about anything else below. And there is no save button here. You just literally click X when you're done. All right, so once that's done, we're going to come back to add mail again, and we're going to go back to add files again. And now you're going to see we're in our folder and you're going to see, we can see the YDD, the drawable dictionary. We can't see the YTD, the texture dictionary. And that's because first it wants the drawable dictionary. So we're going to go ahead and open this and it's going to ask us what type of component it is. So you're going to have components and you're going to have props. Um, this is a component, it's a chain, and you've got different types of components, which obviously they kind of tell you what they are here, like ped heads, masks, ped hair, torsos, legs, backpacks. Now we want accessories, even though it doesn't specifically say chains there, chains do come under a T file, which is accessories. So we're going to click that one for chain and we're going to do add. Now, if you wanted to add more, you could go ahead and add more to this file system. We're only going to be adding one item in with this one, but um, it's whatever. Um, now, one thing with this dirty cloth tool, if you get errors, this error is because we don't have a texture, but 
if you get errors and you hover over them. Now, if you make your chain and it's like 500,000 polys, this is not going to process it. It's going to say, no, go away. It's not happening. Um, if you make a texture and it's over 2048 by 2048, so if he was making like a 4096 texture, a 4K texture, it's going to tell you, no, it's not going to work. So if you do get any errors at all, just hover over it and it will tell you what the error is and then you'll know how to fix it, okay? Now, like so, this one is only because we don't have a texture yet, so we need to go ahead and add our texture. So we're just going to click add and now you're going to see, we can see the YTD um, because that's what it wants. So we're going to open that and now we can actually view this um, if we double click here. It might take a second to come up, but it does have a little viewer. And if we rotate that and get that in the right position, we will be able to look at our stuff like in the viewer. Now, obviously you've got position here. So at the moment, this is gonna go into position zero. So this is gonna be the first chain that shows up if you wanted one or two or three or whatever. Do you know what I mean? So that's what that's for. Um, obviously we've already set these, but if you needed to change them, you could change them there. Or male, you could change it to female, stuff like that. But for the most part, we're not gonna need to edit any of this. So we've got that, we've got that, we're good to go. We're gonna basically come down here and click build project. Um, yours might come up to locate your 5M, sorry, your GTA file. Um, if it's the first time you've done it, it should automatically find it. If not, then just like when you open open IV for the first time and that, you just need to locate your GTA 5.exe. Now, once you're into here, you obviously need to click 5M resource. If you're using single player, then you click that, but we're doing 5M, so we need to click 5M resource. Um, don't change this, don't change this. And we need to give the clothes a collection name, so let's call it Dirty Biggie. Dirty Biggie, because the chain's Biggie. Um, you can remove the prefix. We don't really want to do that. And if you was adding multiple different types in one system, so you was adding some t-shirts, some trousers, some chains, then you'd probably want to select this, which would create subfolders, which would obviously make it more manageable if you needed to look through the folders in future. Um, but we don't need to deal with any of this stuff. We just want to hit build. Now, once you hit build, you're gonna have this pop up and you're basically just gonna click open output folder. And you're gonna see that obviously this has done the hard work for us. We've got our stream folder, which inside the stream folder, we've got our YDD and our YTD that have both been named appropriately. This is what I was trying to get at the beginning. It doesn't matter what it's called when you're using this tool because it's gonna name it for you anyway. If we back out once, we've got the YMT file, um, which obviously we're not having to make because that's kind of complicated in itself. And then likewise with these two code files here as well, it kind of needs all of this to kind of work very well. So if we just go back one folder, we've got this one. Now you could go back more and you'll see you've got this and if you come inside here you've got the data folder now for me i'm just going to take this folder as a single item you could also take this folder but i'm going to just be taking the folder that's inside it i'm going to hit copy and next we're going to need to open up our server files now this is a v menu server if you're using QB core, then you need to go into resources and stuff like that. But I'm going to be showing you with a V menu server. Um, even though the actual path is different, it's going to be the same type of thing. You're going to be adding this to the resources folder. So I'm going to locate resources and for closing this system, I'm putting them in scripts. Um, there are some other ones here, but I have actually disabled these while I make this tutorial just to show that the chain showing up in this and not in those. So I'm gonna paste the folder in here. What we're gonna wanna do is copy the name of this folder. So I do 
cut and then paste just to make sure that I've actually got it because sometimes you might copy it go and it hasn't worked properly and you've got to come back and do it so I always cut and paste just kind of works for me but you can do it however you wish and then once you've done that you need to go to your server CFG which is here but some people will use, there's a browser version, you can go into localhost if it's a local server and you can go to the CFG that way, um, but you can come into the file system and open it if you've got Visual Studio code. I'm going to get rid of this because this is one that I was just testing out before. So let's say this was your normal files, you're going to make a new line, you're going to do ensure. Oh, I'm trying to type with one hand. Ensure, and then we're going to paste our folder name. Once that's done, we're going to go and hit file and save. Also, if you was using the online version, um, the browser version, you would do the same thing. You would save, and if your server's already running, you will need to restart your server. My server's not running. I'm going to boot it up from scratch. Um, but if you was already running, you'd obviously need to restart the server for these changes to take effect. So I'm going to go ahead and boot up the server now. Right now, I'm just going to ask you guys one more time, please. Can you hit that subscribe button? You would do myself and the channel a massive favor and help us to keep putting out content to help you. So please just do that. If you haven't done that already, or if you didn't do that earlier when I asked, please just take that one second, hit that subscribe button and I'll continue putting out bangers that's going to help you on your 5M modeling journey. Obviously, I've uploaded in a character and I've come to the next scarfs. Um, you'll see that basically it's on number one and it's not there that's because it's actually put a number one at the end of the gta pack so if i go back boom there it is now obviously if i put two it would go to draw for one three four because without uh number one there is 132 already so it's added on an additional slot so that zero that we've done is obviously 133 if we added it to one it would have been 134 and stuff like that so yeah there it is guys like that's how you can put stuff in your server with ease um let it do the hard work for you basically so hope this video has helped you as always don't forget you can join the discord the link's in the description below and until the next one this is drills over and out peace